From WNY News, this is First Morning Weather. Well, welcome back. It's been a wet day across the Twin Tiers, but with temperatures mainly in the 40s, we're talking rain as opposed to any snow. And it looks like we're going to hang on to some above average temperatures as we progress through the weekend. And like we've already heard in this newscast, there's certainly not a shortage of holiday events across the Twin Tiers this weekend. So much to choose from. And again, for the most part, the weather will cooperate. We'll have the mild temperatures, but keep the umbrellas handy because there's going to be a couple passing showers from time to time as well. Crystal City Sky Cam right now still showing some wet weather out there. Overcast skies and a couple spotty showers still here and there, but uh, we will be looking at a drying trend as we head through the next several hours. First area of low pressure working its way off towards the north and east, and you can see a lot of drying here back over the Ohio Valley, and that's good news heading into our Saturday. Uh, much of the day will be dry. Overcast conditions will persist, perhaps a limited sunshine break or two of sunshine and just a slight chance for a leftover shower. Still tracking a couple light showers out there this evening. Uh, it picked up almost a quarter of an inch of rain outside our studios here in Horses, so nothing too heavy out there, but it's certainly been a wet day. And you can see the showers beginning to break up as we head into the evening hours. Temperatures upper 30s and lower 40s right now. And we're not expecting much more of a temperature drop as we head through the overnight period tonight. One of the holiday events going on across the Twin Tiers tomorrow, of course, the Dickens of a Christmas. That gets underway around 9 o'clock tomorrow morning and continues into the evening. And we're looking at cloudy skies, but look at these temperatures here into the lower 50s. So very comfortable for strolling the streets of Wellsboro for sure. Just a light jacket out there and bring along the umbrella too, because again, there may be a brief shower out there. A little bit better chance for rain though as we go through the day on Sunday as we track a stronger area of low pressure that'll be moving in from the south and west. So uh, let's take a look at expected rainfall totals now moving forward. Now as we go through the overnight period tonight and during the day Saturday, you can see we're only talking a couple hundredths of an inch of rain. So while it may be damp at times on our Saturday, again, rainfall amounts look to be pretty light and spotty. But then look what happens here as we go through Sunday, especially during the afternoon. Many areas will come in with over three quarters of an inch of rain. So some heavier rain for the second half of the weekend. Let's time it out with future track here and again on our Saturday clouds. Couple peaks of sunshine here and there, allowing temperatures to rise into the mid 50s. Also, the chance for a brief shower heading out to Sparkle tomorrow evening in Corning. Again, maybe an isolated shower, but mainly dry. Sunday starts out mainly dry, but look what happens as we go into the afternoon on Sunday. Steadier and heavier rains are likely, and again, this could lead to over three quarters of an inch of rainfall. With our five degree guarantee for today, we forecast a high of 45, 43 was the unofficial high at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport. 37 tonight, still the chance for a leftover shower, spotty showers tomorrow with a five degree guarantee of 54, upper 40 Sunday, rain becoming likely and we trend cooler next week uh, by Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures not getting out of the 30s.